Welcome, in this video we'll cover how to set up a time clock system, clock in, run time card reports and create schedules. First, let's set up the account. In settings, we'll upload our company logo. Then we'll change how we categorize time. We don't have projects, so we'll put job instead. We'll also enable the kiosk mode, breaks and scheduling. We also want to add additional information to our users, so we'll go to custom fields and add a user custom field called employee ID and put it into the active column. Now let's go to our job page and add a few jobs by which we'll later group time in reports. Let's now add some users on the team page. On the limited member tab, we'll add a few employees and enter their names. Once they're added, you can check their pin code here. Let's edit this user's profile by uploading their profile photo and entering their employee ID. Let's also create a service group and add members to it to make user management easier. On the full member tab, we'll add our team leader by email so they can log into Clockify and run reports. We'll give them a team manager role and assign them their group. Next, it's time to set up a time clock kiosk. On the kiosks page, we'll create a new west side kiosk, assign the group and the manager Select the job to which people's work and break time will be tracked and enable PIN. Once you click Create, you'll get the link to the kiosk which you can open on any device including phones and tablets. Log in with your Clockify credentials to launch the kiosk. All employees added to this kiosk can clock in by selecting their profile and entering their personal PIN code. Once they're signed in, they choose Clock In to start their work timer. They'll be automatically signed out after, so another person can clock in. When you return to the kiosk, you'll see a green dot meaning you're clocked in. Sign in again and start break. Now the dot is orange, meaning you're on a break. Sign in and finish break to stop the break and clock back in. Sign in again and you can see all the time you tracked that day and week. Choose clock out to finish for the day. You can also clock in for other users if you know that kiosk's universal PIN code found in settings. Now the kiosk is automatically closed after 24 hours but you can change it in settings. Admins can also close it manually by signing into their profile and choosing close. Let's now cover reporting. On the team dashboard page in the activity table you can see who's clocked in, each person's last activity and how their week looked like. In the summary report, you can see all time broken down by job. Here you can choose a custom breakdown type like by user, by job, and by date, and expand each item for more information. If you need data for just some dimension, like break status or a particular user, you can select it here and filter the data. You can also filter by kiosk origin by adding the filter here. You can export all the data as PDF, Excel and CSV here. If you customize export, you can get more information like group and employee ID in your export. In the detailed report, you can see all time cards individually along with start and end times. You can edit the data directly like this or in bulk by selecting multiple entries. You can also add a new time entry for someone here. And finally, in the weekly report, you can see all the data in a classic timesheet format broken down by job and user. Let's now cover how to create schedules. On the schedule page, add a job. Now expand it and click and drag to create an assignment block. Choose a user, add start time or a note if necessary and click create. You can add another user here and create more blocks. If you switch to the team tab, you'll see each person's capacity status. Open means they can take more work, full means they're at full capacity and over means that they have too many hours assigned that day. You can manipulate the block 
split it or click on it to edit details. Once you're happy with the schedule, you can click publish so others can see it. If the user is a full member, they can log into Clockify or open the mobile app and see their assignments. Full members can also track time on their own without having to clock in via a kiosk you set up. For example, they can open the mobile app and start and stop the timer as they work on different activities. If you have GPS tracking enabled, their location will also be recorded when they clock in. Later, you can see in the Activity tab all the visited sites plus replay a user's route for that day. Full members can also submit their timesheet for manager's approval as well as request time off. Then a manager can approve submitted timesheets to prevent further changes as well as approve leave requests. In short, this is how quickly you can set up a time clock system with Clockify. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help. Also, be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about the kiosk features and other features like reporting.